That's the theme of the song. The composition is an original composition as a ballad, and it's titled Welcome to a Prayer. The, the theme itself, when the, the changes that are played, that are structured as, as the chord forms in that song, can be referred to as complex in terms of the voicings and the, the titles for those chords. For instance, C7 flat 9, um, F minor 9 to an A flat over B flat to an A flat 7 sharp 5 or better yet in the 11th measure there's one chord that is referred to as a D flat minor over D uh, that particular structure if you see that name most guitar players that see a name like that D flat minor over D would think of this and, th and that's very dissonant, very dissonant. But let's see that inversion again. D flat minor over D. But now let's take a different inversion of the same chord and see D flat minor over D again. Here's D flat minor on the inside over D. And if you think about this particular version of D-flat minor over D, it's also an E-13. You know, in the blues, D-flat minor over D, over E. So, what normally is seemingly complex is also simple. So we, we have to keep that in mind. And what we're leading toward by using this theme and these versions of these substitutions for it is we're going to take that side of the, of the, the page. There are two pages, one to the left and one to the right. The one on the left is the lead sheet for the song itself and with all of the changes in that song, some of them being fairly complex. The right side of these two pages is, is relating to the same names of, of the same chords with in small print beneath them, nothing but minor sevenths. In other words, when you see C7 flat nine, which is this change, 
you'll see beneath that D flat minor seventh. And I'll, and I'll run that with a continuous pattern that mirror images through all the different keys. The pattern is this. And it could be in any octave. That particular form will, will repeat itself by transposing into all of the chord changes that you see on the left-hand page. In other words, when you see D flat minor over D, you'll hear this, B minor seventh. A13 flat nine. B flat minor seventh. G13 flat five. A flat minor seventh. So let's now again go to the beginning of the song. And now that you hear, when you hear the changes, I'm going to play these inserts of nothing but minor seventh phrases to give you an idea of the uh, potency of such substitutions. <laughs> 